Well, people make all kinds of New Year's resolutions this time of year, from eating better, hmm, to increased exercise, yeah, to spending more time with family. Or maybe you want to teach an old dog new tricks. Ooh. Well, you might be surprised to know that getting fiscally fit isn't as difficult as it may seem. And you don't have to tear apart the furniture to do it. I knew it. You can go through here and you can click on mortgages. When as a certified financial planner, home. Kelly Aline says this time of year, one of the most common financial goals people should set is building a budget you can stick to. Setting up a budget helps you keep track of your income and expenses, allowing you to make better financial decisions and save more money. That's the first one, and that's always nice to do as a household, when your husband and wife and you're planning together. Aline says it's also a good time to set a goal of paying off debts, especially since rates may be higher than usual coming out of an interest rate hiking cycle. A great time to go through and look at any of the outstanding debts people have, credit cards, loans, understand what they have for those interest rates and consider paying down those highest interest rate debts first. For those who haven't done so, Aline recommends building an emergency cash balance to be prepared for the unexpected. So three to six months is what we recommend for clients for that emergency cash, but it's a good time too to sit down and say, okay, do we have any trips coming up? Do we have any um, renovations in our house coming up? Where do we need to start putting that money into that emergency cash fund? She says the start of a new year is a good time to go over account balances, especially if there have been changes. You know, review those account titles, review the beneficiaries on those accounts, whether that's your bank accounts, your investment accounts, your retirement accounts, your insurance but also on your will and if you have a living trust, that's a good time. When it comes to insurance, Aline says it's good to make sure you're appropriately covered for home, health, and life. With 2024 being an election year, Aline encourages investors not to let their emotions take over when playing the stock market. While everyone's financial situation varies, she urges common sense when planning ahead. Remember to set realistic and achievable goals and then throughout the year, make sure you're going back and looking at those goals to see where you're at and how far on track you are for those. In Great Falls, Tim McGonigal, MTN.